first of all you have to understand what kind of questions it is as a structure how you are supposed to plan to write introduction how to write body paragraphs and how to write conclusion all these things we are going to discuss right now yeah say hum for example this is the question small businesses are disappearing and being replaced by large multinational companies small businesses are disappearing and being replaced by large multinational companies chote business khatam ho rahe hain bade businesses aa rahe hain multinationals aa rahe hain do the advantages of this outweigh the disadvantages like kya advantages zyada hai as compared to disadvantages there is another question most career choices demand vocational skills or specialist knowledge like when you go for the job uh, they ask you like do you have a good grip on computer typing you have uh, skills of video editing your skills of graphic designing coral draw illustrator website development such kind of things however this most schools still teach academic subjects such as history or social studies lots of schools are still teaching this one thing is vocational training second thing is theoretical subjects discuss the advantages and disadvantages of this okay so first of all we have to find the structure of the essay what is the structure of the essay this is going to be your IELTS writing uh, task 2 advantage and disadvantage structure whatever your topic is you are getting uh, what we call a opinion essay agree disagree advantage uh, discuss both views advantage disadvantage problem solution two part questions so you have to go for intro you have to go for main body paragraph one main body paragraph two and conclusion so ye char kaam aapne karne hai right if you are going to do all these things you will be getting a good score okay intro you will be getting a question you have to rephrase the question first of all rephrase it then outline your views like what do you think that advantages outweigh the disadvantages or disadvantages outweigh the advantages and then state your opinion if it is needed or you can go for the outline here outline mean what you are going to write in writing task one and what you will be writing in writing task two so this is uh, 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 like uh, body paragraph one and body paragraph two what are you going to write this is outline and it can be plan as well for example in body one I will be writing advantages and in body two I'll be writing disadvantages this is outline or plan then when it comes to body paragraph one topic sentence about advantages one of the prime advantages one of the chief advantages one of the main advantages then you have to explain and give your example same is the case in body two topic sentence one disadvantage and then its explanation and then example then you have to summarize the key points and state your opinion in summary uh, because there was a question do the advantages outweigh the disadvantages it's mean he or she is asking you your opinion you will be writing your opinion as well okay now we are going to move to the next part यहां तक कोई क्वेश्चन है तो आप पूछ सकते हैं दिस इज अनदर रियली इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज वन एडवांटेज और टू एडवांटेजेस सम टाइम क्वेश्चन विल बी डू यू थिंक एडवांटेज ऑफ द टूरिज्म आउटवेय द डिसएडवांटेज इट मींस वन एडवांटेज एंड वन डिसएडवांटेज यू विल बी राइटिंग एंड व्हेन इट इज गिवन देयर एडवांटेजेस and disadvantages it's mean you have to write more than one advantages more than one disadvantages like two advantages or three advantages you will be writing okay as you are allowed to write in only in 40 minutes and uh, you will be writing this is going to be plan how you will be planning your essay when you are going to plan so you have to analyze the question first of all 
generate some ideas, analyze the question, it is advantage, it is disadvantage. Advantage is disadvantages. What are the advantages and disadvantages or discuss advantages and disadvantages and give your opinion. So analyze the question, then generate some ideas and you have to go for vocabulary as well. Some vocabulary words. These are the three things we are going to do right now. Okay. When you are going to analyze a question, during analyzation, you have to find topic words, like the topic word is tourism. You have to find the other keywords, other keywords were source of income, source of problem. And instruction words, do the advantages outweigh the disadvantages. So these are the three points, they are really important, you have to analyze first of all, before starting your essay. Topic word, tourism. Here, the topic word is tourism, right? And the keywords, source of income, source of problem. And instruction words are advantages, do the advantages, outweigh the disadvantages. Okay, the keywords here are, look, the keywords are main source of income and the other keywords are main source of problems. Okay, now you will be writing what are the advantages and disadvantages. These are instruction words. Instruction words kya hai? Instruction words like do you think benefits outweigh the drawbacks? Benefits mean advantages, drawbacks mean disadvantages. Do you think like advantages yada hai? Here uh, like advantage of the tourism in relation to income generation. Like during your writing uh, body paragraph 1 when you are writing about the source of income. Advantages of tourism in relation to income generation. Disadvantages of tourism in relation to problem it can cause. And your opinion will be opinion as to whether the advantages outweigh the disadvantages. And your opinion can be disadvantages outweigh the advantages. It's up to you whatever you want to write. You can. Okay. Here when you are going to generate your ideas. These are some ideas. First of all, you have to generate your ideas and then you have to work on your vocabulary. So when you are generating your ideas, like advantages of tourism, it's a source of income. Achha, how it is source of income? It provides the jobs for the local people. It provides the opportunities for the local entrepreneur to tourist spending boost both national and local economy. Three and Next will be like the brings improvement in local infrastructures and maintain the traditions and culture. These all are advantages. When we talk about the disadvantages, there would be some problems. What are the problems? Wealthy businesses, not only the local people. Money goes to wealthy people, not the local people. Amir jo hai, wahan par aajate hai, gareeb wahan se side pe ho jate hai. Increased crime. वहाँ पे क्राइम रेट बढ़ जाता है, इलीगल एक्टिविटीज में लोग इन्वॉल्व हो जाते हैं, राइट? एंड व्हाट अदर लाइक डिस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ़ द नेचुरल एनवायरनमेंट एंड डिस्प्लेसमेंट ऑफ़ इंडिजिनस पीपल, नेचुरल जो एनवायरनमेंट है, व्हेन पीपल गो देयर दे कंस्ट्रक्ट होटल्स एंड रेस्टोरेंट्स, ऑब्वि� and then there would be displacement of indigenous people, local people will be moving to other places as they won't be able to afford the money. Okay. Next time, we come to like, this is the example of Thailand and Venus. What happened in Thailand? In Thailand, as there were the poor people and uh, they were the f fishing villagers, uh, now they have become prosperous because of the tourist resorts. Now it is the provides jobs for local. They are providing jobs for local people. Okay, tourist income spend on improving transport system, electricity supply, telecommunication and medical facilities. The money they are getting, it is being spent on improving transport system. It is being spent on improving the electricity supply and it is being spent on the telecommunication and medical services. This is the advantage. Another advantage is generation of the national parks where wildlife is being protected. You can write another point. Okay, the second example is it is about the Venus. 
So for Venus it is homes replaced with the tourist accommodation. What is the disadvantage? Lots of people will be going there. Local people will be moving somewhere else. Okay, crowded streets too narrow for volume of people. बहुत ज़्यादा लोग वहाँ पर आ जाते हैं. Lost sense of community. लोग वहाँ पे बहुत ज़्यादा sense of community ख़त्म हो जाता है. Pollution for the huge cruise ships. Sea pollution and air pollution. Damaging high tides caused by the hundreds of tourist boats. Lots of people will be going there and during the high tides people will be dying out and their boats will be synced. Okay, this is the disadvantage. Now we are going to generate the vocabulary. For example, lots of people, lots of places in the world rely on the tourism. This is the question. What are the advantages and disadvantages? Do you think the advantages outweigh the disadvantages? Okay. Okay. 